being at uh, Hanover Messe 2023 and covering Indian as well as global companies was an amazing experience for me. I am able to reconnect with many companies uh, whom I worked in my earlier times, maybe, you know, when I was with Mart, selling space, but in between, we stopped that, you know, that business. So, one such company uh, which I used to visit and used to do business was with EP. They are based out of Telangana now. So, at Hanover, this is the 10th year, you know, fifth time they are participating here. We are having with us uh, Mr. Narendra Gauri, the managing director of uh, EP Process Filters. Sir, welcome to Machine Maker. Thank you. Thank you, Ari. Sir, it's a long time for you. I think 32 years you are in the market. Yeah, 32 years of experience. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and you are participating in Hanover for the fifth time. For the fifth time. For the That's fifth true. time. That's true. How the time have changed? 32 years of your existence and five so, times of Hanover. You know, in fact, uh, when we were here uh, about 10 years back, we had that kind of resistance uh, on the Indian products. Things are so much different today. Indian companies are really looked up upon. There is an acceptance, uh, you know, all around the world. People in uh, Germany, people in Italy, people all over look very high on the quality of the products which come from India, and that's a big change, very big change. When you participated for the first time, very yeah. first time in Canada, uh, this is a particular question I'm asking for many other exhibitors to listen to your experience. You know, you never had such a big stall. You had or how Yeah, so it? when we started off, we definitely had a small little one and then we said we uh, probably need uh, really big and this time we thought, uh, you know, probably it should have been double the size of what we have. So that's the kind of difference which has come in in the last, uh, you know, 10 years. You always feel you could do even higher. Yeah, because but you... The multiple meetings, the multiple clients, there are OEMs coming in, the traders, the people wanting to distribute our products and that's the, uh, you know, change which has come in. But it was not easy for you to take the first step before 10 years. First step is difficult. First step is also small. First step, you've got to be very careful. And I think uh, every industry should do that. Try and get into uh, a, a new market. Small steps. But then I'm sure you grow. Because when it takes I'm, time. Yeah. You've got to be consistent. You've got to have high quality. Your standards on delivery and uh, other aspects are very important. And the moment you meet that, you're done. Certain question from the first time exhibitors here. Yeah. So most of the people are there in a nine square meter stall. Maybe you know they are coming directly or they are coming with the EPC. Most of the time they are in the stall and uh, they don't get visitors, just like in India or something like that. I don't know uh, for me how it should, but I think that first step, looking around, gives some kind of experience. Walking more and expanding the network gives some importance. But as an exhibitor over these ten years. What is that you want to tell to those exhibitors, what they should do? Yeah, uh, very important is they've been very successful that they have the first stand, the 9 meter stand. The very important is you should have, let's say, 5 visitors. Stay connected till you come here next. Get them, invite them, those 5 to your stand. And believe me, that would be 25 next year. And that 25 just grows. It's important that you have those 5 visitors because it's not about the visitors like you have in the East, like in India or China, where you have number of visitors. Here you have quality visitors. Here you have visitors who are genuinely interested in your products, who value your quality, who value your time. They walk in not because they want to see something which is very nicely decorated. It's something which they want. There's a need for them to have it. And just one client could be a huge client. So it's not the numbers the quality of the people who come in, the visitors. And that's a big thing in, uh, it's, it's like a mecca of hydraulic industry and that's very important. Not just hydraulic, I believe now it is about everything. Digital, automation. There is hydrogen cell, a uh, lot of innovation happening. There is robotics, there is industrial process. There are so many exhibitions, concurrent exhibitions happening at this moment. And that's, that's amazing. So you have people not only from hydraulics, also from other areas who want to come and see if you could support them some way or the other. And very nicely they have uh, divided these halls into different different industries. Because I was there in Hall 5, fully compressors. And that's amazing, you know, the people who are Indian people who are, would like to have some component manufacturer, they just come where all their customers are around. 
So it's a huge exhibition and uh, it's very important to segment these uh, exhibitors, exhibitions because you know if something is in one hall it's easier for anybody to come in and explore the market, to know what the technology is and try and uh, you know uh, have a one-on-one -on -one communication with different manufacturers so and try and bridge in the gaps and get in the market. So when we talk about EP, so what are the product ranges we have? We have, I think, filters and... Yeah, so we manufacture hydraulic filters and accumulators. Filters we have right from the return line filters, very low pressure filters, high pressure filters and duplex filters. Uh, a huge range where we also sell our elements to our competition uh, housings. Okay. So these elements also get into com competition housings. We also have a very huge range of accumulators right from the bladder accumulator which we started in 1991 we manufacture piston accumulators and the new range is the membrane accumulators which we are probably the only one in the country so far manufacturing we export these worldwide so, so we have practically all types of uh, accumulators as well filters i understand yeah. a little bit I'm, uh -huh. I'm not an engineer by uh, academic qualification but a little bit of engineer by you know, people like you teach me something. So, what is this accumulators and where is this application actually? Accumulators is basically like a battery used in hydraulics. Accumulator is a pressure vessel. You have nitrogen on one side, oil on the other. When the nitrogen compresses, you have oil stored inside the accumulator. It's like a reservoir, like a battery or like a capacitor in uh, electronics. It creates the energy. It stores energy okay. and gives when required. For example, uh, you're braking and you want fluid suddenly. The pump is very tiny. It does not give you that kind of flow. Accumulator is something which supplies. It's used in machine tool, for example. It's where you have the clamping and uh, the cylinder probably can leak and the product can fly off. So accumulator supplies, it's like a leakage compensator. So now the uh, products, what you have, traditional products, mm -hmm. the filters, the accumulators, and uh, now you have also a lot of competitions who is working in the country, in India, as well as globally. So how EP takes that one step ahead of competition? So it's very important that uh, you keep innovating. You keep uh, increasing the dirt retention. For example, you're talking about a filter element. You keep making it uh, tinier and tinier for the same application, which means the space is lesser, the price is uh, cheaper for the end uh, customer and uh, the replacement cost becomes less. So that's one thing we will have to be continuously working on. R&D. Yeah. R&D is something which you have to consistently work on. You can never say yes, your is the best. You will keep innovating. So how is the export market for you? Like, you know, if you consider Indian domestic uh, sales and the international sales, where the export stand today? So three years back, we, or four years back, we were about 15%. We increased last year to about 35%. And next year, we're expecting it to be about 70% export. 70% export, yeah. that's a big number. So are you thinking of investment in the other parts of the country by opening offices, sales offices? We're expanding a manufacturing facility within Hyderabad. Within Hyderabad. But what about the sales and service outside India? Do we you have a network. You have a network. We've created a network and we have some very good partners okay. all around the world. Okay, so thank you very much for your time and uh, learning new things about EPE was uh, very nice and those advices which I am sure that it can help many exhibitors or those people who want to go to this international market, uh, thank you for those inputs. Thank you Hari, thank you for walking by. All the best.